Space Nuts, this is Doug from Flat Earth Workshop and today's project is building a very large, very powerful rocket so you can become a space hero like this guy. The first rocket hero, Robert Goddard. As a pioneer rocket scientist, Goddard understood that you needed an oxidizer to fly in the vacuum of space. So for him, that meant chemical rockets or more specifically, liquid powered rockets. He first flew in 1926, and you can see his entire crew huddling in the blockhouse just in case there was an explosion. Robert Goddard, Rocket Hero. This is the product that founded my rocket dreams back in the early 70s. Believe it or not, there was a liquid fuel rocket made of aluminum. It was called the Vashon Valkyrie, and you could even fire it in your hand. Unfortunately, it worked on CFCs known as dichlofluoromethane, and it's now illegal. Here is everyday proof that even a bad day at the range can certainly be a whole lot of fun. Oh, what's going on here? <laughs> but when things go right, they really go right. Check out this flight with a GoPro camera. And this one just a few years ago, which was the first model rocket in space. Today's Flat Earth Workshop project is done by guest builder Jacob Kreisman, who decided that a kit wasn't for him, he was going to build it from scratch. He's building a 40-inch rocket from these 3-inch diameter by 36-inch mailing tubes he bought at Staples. Combine these tubes with some balsa wood sheets and you've got a nice pair of fins. Now you got to make sure you mount these things perpendicular to the body of the rocket and also make sure that they're in line or you're going to get a real twisted effect when you launch this but he's done a beautiful job. The fillets are terrific. Next, he cut a couple of donuts out of fiberboard and then adding some brass picture hanging hardware. He used those to hold in the engine and look how beautifully it fits. He used the Estes F15-6 engine. Then he used a plastic nose cone from Apogee Systems. Final specifications, the height is 42 inches with a diameter of three inches and a burn time of about three and a half seconds. And he named it the Blazer. Who knows what's next? <laughs> Maybe something like this, a one-tenth scale Saturn V that was launched just a few years ago, built by Steve Eves. It was over 30 feet tall. Enjoy. <laughs> 